Well, one thing I'm hoping to see at Toy Fair uh, is I'm hopeful that we might get an announcement, if not at Toy Fair, then at least around it, uh, about a ne- about a new HasLab. And yeah, that would be sweet. I don't know was- if that's when that's happening, but look, I'm just going to say this. I'm confident that's happening. I said this a few weeks ago. I said in passing on the podcast to somebody, I was like, well, when a new HasLab comes out and whoever it was was like, oh, there's a new HasLab coming out. Like, and I went, <laughs> well, to me, there is. And like, I'll just say this. If folks don't know this, because I'm not on this and I just saw it on Reddit when it was happening, there was a, a call on Reddit. It was like Reddit slash R slash toys, like back probably almost at this point, um, two, maybe two months ago, that was like, hey, are you a Ghostbusters fan? We're doing a focus group. And you could try to apply to get in that focus group and see if you could be a part of it. And all of the preview questions for it were like, what are the things you shop with before? And it was like Hasbro Pulse, HasLab, Mattel Creations. It was all <laughs> of the like things that you would go crowdfund a toy with, you know, like all mm-hmm. those brands. And then it was like, what's the most you've ever spent on a single Ghostbusters item? Right. Like and so, <laughs> just all these questions that were very clearly targeted towards. Are you somebody who spends uh, large dollar amounts on collectibles and buys them on the Internet and crowdfunding models? And it was so obvious and transparent what you were looking at. Um, and so I, you know, from there, I believe that some folks did end up getting contacted about potentially being on a panel um, that I don't Lucky. think happened. But yet. But, you know, I to my standpoint, there is a HasLab in the wings because somebody at a, a marketing company hired by Hasbro felt bold enough to go carry themselves to slash or slash toys and be like hi (laughs) here's 20 questions anyone can fill out and read about what we might be figuring out in marketing right so (laughs) sorry hasbro if i'm kind of like overstating uh reality based off of interpreting your marketing strategy but i'm confident in it you know well they would be it would be silly not to with the last ghostbusters has lab was so yeah hugely successful and how many proton packs did they sell like 22,000 or something yeah and without a wand i mean they sold two (laughs) i mean it was i mean it's crazy if you say it with that context so for them not to with all the ghostbusters gear that the that that they could possibly do they it would be silly of them not to yeah i mean and that's to me like that i don't know if we're going to get that announcement at toy fair because or a preview of it, because typically, like, I don't know that they take Haslabs to Toy Fair. I don't know if that's a thing or if they just kind of do them on their own know. terms because they go, it's Hasbro Pulse Thursday and go on the Internet <laughs> at one o'clock and watch two people show you a thing and be totally wowed by it. And then chat in our <laughs> chat room I, like that's their speed of doing things, I think, at this point. But, um, you know, they do show up at cons. They are, you know, theoretically slated to show up at Toy Fair. So. They have a lot to market there, of course. It isn't Ghostbusters stuff. They're doing X-Men stuff and Marvel stuff and all the other stuff they do. But I mean, mm-hmm. my little pony jump drives probably to give away his tchotchkes to people. and I won't get one, but whatever. Um, but <laughs> like, the point is that like I'm excited about a bunch of new stuff coming out. And I, I have to, in my heart of hearts, I have to believe there's a HasLab out there. Like it won't be another Proton Pack, I don't think. But some, like you just said it, there's so many other props and tools in the Ghostbusters universe that they can mm-hmm. make and in the way that they've built lightsabers out for years as like a category of things they make and then other yeah. like you know Darth Vader helmets and you know whatever it else it is that you can buy as little props i think that that's really become a market for them it's huge so i hope we're getting another haslab and that it's going to be something we haven't necessarily seen before you know but uh, we'll see Slime i think it's a safe anyone? bet <laughs> <laughs> i think it's a safe bet with yeah. as successful as the last one was, they'd have to try again at least. And it's yeah. really no risk to them. I mean, if it doesn't fund, it doesn't fund. I mean, right. But th- it would if they I think did it another would. HasLab. Look, yeah. I think that like there's some embarrassment when a thing doesn't fund. You know, like they when they like Star Wars team over there at Hasbro is has eaten some crow, I think, on some of their Hasbro <laughs> Pulse, uh, you know, uh, their plasma series. What am I trying to say? Their uh, HasLab offerings, right? And mm. they've had a few things go wrong. I think there was like, I'm trying to think what else didn't get funded over there. There was a cookie monster that was really awesome that didn't get funded. That was early. Well, I think that might yeah, have been the first Yeah, that was one of the very product. first, very, it was one of the very first ones. Yeah. yeah. But like, as far as Star Wars goes, I know they tried to do a, a, a Rancor 
a large scale. Well, I think it was yeah. a black series scale Rancor that didn't fund. There was a, a lightsaber, a Reva lightsaber from the Obi Wan uh, series on Disney Plus that didn't fund. Uh, I think they had, they just recently had just a, a Marvel one with the with the Ghost Rider car didn't fund, but the Ghostbusters one was a gigantic success because it only needed like originally what was it like nine thousand backers yeah. or something for it to pass and it went to yep. twenty two thousand so well, for and, them to not <laughs> I mean look part of that is because it's like they were making a proton pack at sub five hundred dollars right like that yeah and they, nobody's ever really done it that has done it that accurately or promised the things they were promising. But I think part of the reason too is it's like yeah Ghostbusters fans there's fewer of us and like hardcore Ghostbusters fans than there are Star Wars fans I think but Oh, There's yeah. so little produced for us that <laughs> when they produce something like this, we're like, we have to get it. Like there's yeah. an easier ability to look aside at like, Oh, they made Reva's lightsaber. Who cares? I have five lightsabers and they're from my five favorite Jedi, right? Like there's, <laughs> if they were making like five different neutrona ones, I think we would also kind of raise our eyebrows and go, mm. and I've mm. joked about that. I'm like, if they really wanted to, they could just be like, Take the shotgun muzzle off the existing Neutrona wand, take a few th- greeblies off of the existing Neutrona wand, change that handle and be like, it's the 84 wand. And yeah, we would it's probably not out and buy one. I did like, it myself. <laughs> right. Like there's people who've already done it. But I think that like that's what's different about Ghostbusters and Star Wars to me is like that they if they they know they could have done that, but they chose not to. They just went, let's put out the one and that's it. Mm-hmm. And like the next item we get probably won't be that because it seems like they're not looking to replicate you know uh, the the same category of prop like they could have done that very quickly within six months of putting out that first spengler one they could have been like now you can buy the 84 one and then just kind of expanded (laughs) from there they could have been like now you can get the video game wand and just gave us wand after wand after wand in the same way they do those lightsabers hasbro don't do this This is not what i'm telling you to do i know right now you're going (laughs) we could could make money Uh, but like i see the value in what they're doing. If like, if they come out with a new has lab, that is going to be something we've not had before. Or even like if they do a trap, nobody's done a trap that opens and does anything other than like what rubies like since Mattel, like yeah, that, since Mattel, like, yeah, like Mattel did the trap and everybody was like, wow, that's amazing. And it's still something, something so coveted that people pay like seven, $800 for the stupid thing. If not more than yeah. that on eBay. And mm-hmm. In contrast to that, like the only company that has made a trap with opening doors since then was the like offshoot of a costume company that is now out of business. (laughs) (laughs) And even that was just the modification of their existing item, right? Like, so if they do something like that, I think that you'll get, you know, 25,000 more of those sold because everybody who bought a proton pack is going to buy a trap. Oh, yeah. And then some. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. So if they could RTV it, they yeah. could if they could come up with a trap that was an RTV and you could also convert it to a standard rolling 8489 trap, that would be amazing. 